and it's lit. Ooh. Good morning. It's Derek Tan here with you on the back porch. Or is this the patio? I never know. Um, it is a beautiful, summery Sunday morning here in West Texas. The sun is rising. It is getting hotter. I am wearing the purple Smith uh, sunglasses, but it's me. You know, you can see my face. Look at it. All right. Shades go back on so I can see. So, hope everyone's doing well today. Brace yourselves for a highly entertaining video. That's a guarantee. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Housekeeping. I've got the Rusticob. Sent to me by the Rusticobist himself, Mr. Hooper. Mr. Paul Hooper. I think he did a beautiful job on it. Thank you, sir, for sending it to me. I appreciate it. And in it. And this is going to be my first smoke in it, so decided to go big. You know, they say go big or go home. Well, I say go big and or go home. That's stupid. I'm home, and we're going to have a big tobacco. This is an old favorite of mine. It's got lots of flavor, lots of nicotine, and, of course, it is a challenge to, to, to get packed and lit correctly. The original Sam Goweth Black 20, or Black Double X. Oh, boy. This stuff is, it's meaty, it's spicy, it's earthy. Uh, it has just got lots of flavor, lots of nicotine. I have this giant mason jar filled with like a half pound of this stuff uh, that I bought like three years ago. And just sitting on the bottom shelf of the hutch, you open up that mason jar and you're just immediately hit with this the fumes, the pungent fumes of the oils and the nicotine of that expertly made tobacco. And that is why you got to keep your you got to keep your tobacco in mason jars, you know, unless you're just smoking through them quick. But if you're like most of us, you like to have a bunch of, you got, you like to have your variety of tobaccos to choose from. So go to your grocery store, you know, get like the, the half pint, you know, the small mason jars, about a half pint sized or a cup. That's how eight ounces. And that'll hold about a, you know, a, you know, one on one point, you know, 50 gram tin or 1.75 ounce, you know, or one and a half ounce, you know, this, this, the regular tins of tobacco. All that'll fit in there. You've got to push it in. But let me tell you, it will preserve it. It'll help age it and it will keep the moisture in. And as I've said before, time and time again, you got to give it proper drying time. Now, this is West Texas, low humidity. The temperature today is going to get like to 105. It's an arid climate with little humidity. And I've, and for most tobaccos, most ribbon cut tobaccos, that's enough. You set those out for 30 or 45 minutes and that'll suck the extra moisture out lickety split. But for these tightly wound, tightly packed, multi-layered rope twist tobaccos which are amazing yeah, they, they find a way to keep the moisture in so that is a multiple hour possibly overnight you know you, you leave that overnight especially if you live in a climate that has average or above average humidity but they're definitely worth trying and and that's another thing you know the, the, the i recommend ropes and twists and heavy you know you know the, the the cut you know the plugs i recommend those those high nicotine tobaccos on this channel all the time 
And I've I've had a lot of comments like mm -mm, I'm afraid or I'm a, that those are I'm afraid those are a little too high nicotine for me. And and to that I say you know I'm not a I'm not a former cigarette smoker. You know I, I I've have dabbled in cigars, but I I would never really have considered myself a you know a, a habitual c a cigar smoker. And you know I definitely don't smoke pipes daily. You know, so I would say I do not have any kind of like built up tolerance for nicotine at all. Uh, but when I have the high nicotine uh, tobaccos and you get hit with that, that rush, that nicotine, uh, when you get the nicotine sweats, uh, I, I, I just embrace it. I, I enjoy it. Now, I am a caffeine fiend, a caffeined. Uh, and I don't know, maybe they, maybe they, maybe they're related chemicals. Maybe they, they hit the same, maybe they hit some of the same receptors. And so I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a body chemicalologist or whatever you call those physiologist. I don't know, sweetheart. Um, but perhaps if you're afraid to try heavier nicotine tobacco blends, but you do enjoy your caffeine, give it a shot. And if not, if you try it, you don't like it, send the tobacco, you know, trade it off to someone. Tobacco is a is a wonderful commodity that it could be traded and preserved and uh, and you know, it's it's useful. It's usable. So if you're worried, don't be afraid. Give it a shot. Anyway, enough about that. Um, but I, I wanted to address, you know, the, I guess some people are, have, have, have noticed that I'm making videos less often, less frequent. And, and I wanted to say I haven't gone anywhere and I, you know, I have been busier, I guess, in my personal life and my professional life. Um, but that, I, I feel like that's all the more reason that I do need to make time to, to smoke a pipe more and create more content. But, you know, and I wouldn't say I'm an artist and I need inspiration. You know, I, I was just never inspired to make videos. I must be inspired. It's not that. I just don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to be overly redundant or, or, or just make a video that's a waste of your time. Um, but I'll uh, I'll try to be more present. I am gonna be more present. I'm, let's see. I'm I'm thinking about restarting up the the GeoGuessr series. You know, a little gameplay. Uh, I put a series of uh, playing the the game GeoGuessr out uh, a few years ago, and you know that's kind of a niche game, and it has you know and and the, and the number of people that would enjoy watching somebody play that would probably be even fewer. But I know a few of y'all really did enjoy that series. Uh, well, I put out about 20 episodes of me playing GeoGuessr, and I might do that again. Um, also, I've got lots of tobacco that I need to rediscover in the hutch stashes, you know, tobaccos that I haven't tried in a while. So I would love to offer uh, my reviews or my impressions of those tobaccos. And I got tons of unopened tins that, that I'll eventually be opening up. And... Uh, you know, uh, and and like <laughs> like the stoving experiments. You know, I've got I got a bunch of that McBaron Virginia that I was wanting to uh, do some stoved aging on, and I've been teasing that for years, and everyone's been like, "Yeah, do that." So, um, if there's anything you would, if you if there's anything you would like to see, I guess first, or anything that you're interested in, leave a comment below and let me know what what we, what you would really be interested in seeing uh i think all the con i'm gonna i'm gonna create the content that i'm gonna create uh, but i do want it to be entertaining and fun and enjoyable for you i mean that's i mean you're you're giving me the gift of your time watching my videos and i want to make it worth your while so if there's anything you think uh you'd like to see sooner just let me know I'll be uh, I'll be monitoring the comment section. <laughs> anyway, I will let you all go. Enjoy your day. God bless you. Thanks for watching and of course, smell my beard.